Uh, literally in the last ten minutes, five minutes, I finished watching Roma, the uh, new film by Alfonso Cuaron. Uh, it's had a lot of acclaim. It's by the time you see this, it may well have been nominated for numerous Oscars. Um, several filmmakers have said that it's their favorite film of the year, one of their favorite films of all time. I didn't care for it. Um, it's the story of a um, uh, mixed tech, sort of an indigenous culture housekeeper in a middle class Mexico City household at the start of the 1970s. And it's filmed in black and white, it's filmed in very long takes, there's no music, it's very deliberately naturalistic. Um, I found it very alienating, very dull, um, pretty uninteresting. And I've already been reading online about trying to figure out what it is that people have found so captivating about this. I have no idea. Maybe it's me. Maybe there's something that I'm not getting on an emotional level. But it's just about a housekeeper's life. And the family she's in is starting to fall apart. The father's away a lot and he leaves the wife during the course of the film. And she gets pregnant and um, the father is her, her friend's a boyfriend's cousin and he turns out to be a piece of shit and walks away and never comes back and there's um there's a there's a, a riot a deadly riot in the middle of the story uh which is a, a real occurrence the, the corpus christi massacre which i've never heard of because my knowledge of mexican history is very poor um but uh suddenly that happens while uh the housekeeper uh cleo and the grandmother of the household are out shopping for a crib and uh, armed men chase someone else in and, and kill them in front of the people there and everyone's horrified but one of the armed men is the father of Cleo's child and she, he points a gun in her face and thought ah yeah it turns out he's not a nice person even though he's actually wearing a love is t-shirt wow what a what a remarkable juxtaposition there um it's just it's just really uninteresting. It's in black and white. It's, as I said, it's in black and white. There's no music. It's all filmed in mid shots. There's no close ups. Um, it seems to be doing everything it can to be alienating and unengaging on an emotional level. It's, it's I mean, you might have guessed I had a couple of glasses of wine, but. I found it so hard to engage with, so hard now to talk about, because there's nothing. It's like a sheer rock face. There's nothing to gain purchase on. Um, hopefully, you'll have seen the video I did about glass, and I talked for about seven minutes on that. I'm on about three and a half minutes on this, and I don't really have anything else to say. It's It's a slice of life movie. It's like... Mike Lee or Ken Loach, but a bit more stylized, maybe more skilled in the direction and the photography, but just saying nothing. Just nothing. Maybe life's quite tough for, um, you know, living in Mexico in the 60s, at the start of the 70s, rather, if you're um, uh, not, um, uh, you know, uh, Spanish descent, if you're in, a, you know, one of the indigenous people, but that reminds me of Moonlight, where this hugely acclaimed film, which launched so many careers, uh, had ultimately had the film message: it's it's hard growing up gay in a, a very poor black neighbourhood. Yeah, I know. I worked that out on my own. A middle class straight white guy. It's not that much of a challenge. In the same way that yeah, it's it's tough grow, it's tough being a housekeeper in Mexico in the early seventies. Okay, yeah, I expect it is, but the film has literally nothing to say. It barely has that to say. It has nothing else to say. Alfonso Cuarón just wants to make a film about the housekeeper he grew up with, I think, um, because it was a great emotional bond in his life, and that's absolutely fine. 
um, if this is, if it's that important to him, fine. But it has nothing else to say or do. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it. It's it's a film for people who like art movies. It's an art movie. It has no commercial presence really. There's there's nothing in it that I would say is particularly worth your time because it says and does nothing. 